Rational Expressions. A rational expression is an algebraic expression of the form p over q, where p and q are simpler expressions, usually polynomials, and the denominator q is not zero. If r is any non-zero expression that is a factor of both the numerator and denominator, then you can simply cancel it out to simplify the radical expression. So pr over qr, you cancel out the r's to get p over q. So some examples of rational expressions could include one over x minus one, or x squared plus three x plus one over x squared plus three. As an example of canceling, if we have x squared plus three x plus one times x minus one, and x squared plus three over x minus one, we can cancel out the x minus ones and get x squared plus three x plus one over x squared plus three. Another example, we might have x squared plus three x plus two over x plus one. The numerator factors, we want two numbers that multiply together to give two and add together to give three. So in this case, one and two. So we have x plus one times x plus two over x plus one. The x plus one terms cancel and we're left with x plus two. Finally, x cubed plus x divided by x squared plus x. We can factor out an x, and we're left with x squared plus 1 times x times x plus 1. The x's cancel, and we have x squared plus 1 over x plus 1. When we multiply two rational expressions, we multiply their numerators and denominators. So p over q times r over s is p times r divided by q times s. When we divide by a rational expression, we simply flip the denominator and multiply. So p over q divided by r over s is really p over q times s over r, or ps divided by qr. As an example, x plus one divided by x times x minus one divided by two x plus one is x plus one times x minus one over x times two x plus one. x minus four divided by six x times four x cubed over two x plus one is equal to four x cubed times x minus four divided by six x times two x plus one. Now we see straight away that both the four and the six have a factor of two, x cubed and x have a factor of x. So we can simply cancel those out and we're left with two x squared times x minus four over three times two x plus one. Next, we have an expression x plus one over x divided by two x plus one over two x minus one. Here we flip and multiply the denominator. So we have x plus one over x times x minus one divided by two x plus one. x plus one times x minus one divided by x times two x plus one. Finally, negative r minus two divided by negative r minus two divided by negative three r minus one. Again, we flip and multiply we have negative r minus two times negative three r minus one divided by negative r minus two. The negative r minus two cancels and we're left with negative three r minus one. Adding or subtracting rational expressions with the same denominator, we add the numerators. So p over q plus r over q is going to be p plus r over q. When adding or subtracting rational expressions with different denominators, multiply the top and bottom of the first fraction by the second denominator and the top and bottom of the second fraction by the denominator of the first. So p over q plus or minus r over s is equal 
to PS over QS, plus or minus RQ over SQ, which is the same thing as PS plus RQ over QS. For example, 5x over negative 4x plus 3 plus 3z over negative 4x plus 3. Because these have the same denominator, we simply add the numerator. So 5x plus 3z divided by that common denominator, negative 4x plus 3. Another example, 20x over x plus 5 minus 15 over x plus 5. Again, we have the same denominator, x plus 5, so we simply add the numerator. 20x minus 15 over x plus 5. In this example, our denominators are different. We have 3 over 2x plus 1 plus 4 over x minus 5. So we start by multiplying the top and bottom of the first fraction by the second denominator, so x minus 5. We then take the second fraction, multiply by the denominator of the first, so 2x plus 1. Once we do that, we can then go ahead and add. So we've got 3 times x minus 5 plus 4 times 2x plus 1 divided by the common denominator, 2x plus 1 times x minus 5. If we expand the numerator, we get 3x minus 15 plus 8x plus 4 divided by our common denominator, and that simplifies to 11x minus 11 over 2x plus 1 times x minus 5. Another example that we'd like to simplify might be 2x over y minus 1 minus y plus 1 over x. Here, our denominators are again different. We need to multiply the first fraction, top and bottom, by x, and the second fraction, top and bottom, by y minus 1. We go ahead and do that. We get 2x times x divided by y minus 1 times x minus y plus 1 times y minus 1 over x times y minus 1. We now have a common denominator, x times y minus 1, and so we can add the numerators. So we get 2x squared plus y plus 1 times y minus 1 over our common denominator, x times y minus 1. And when we distribute and simplify, we get 2x squared plus y squared minus 1 divided by x times y minus 1. Simplify the following. Negative 2x plus 1 divided by x plus 1 divided by a third. Here we're going to flip the 1 third and multiply. So we get negative 2x plus 1 over x plus 1 times 3 over 1. When we distribute that 3 amongst the top, we get 6x plus 3. Distribute the 1 amongst the bottom, we get x plus 1. Another example, 8x divided by 2y times negative 8x plus 3 divided by 8x minus negative 8y squared plus 1 over 8x. Since we've got a common denominator inside the brackets, let's start by adding the, uh, the values inside the brackets. So we get negative 8x plus 3 minus negative 8y plus 1. Simplifying and collecting like terms, we end up with negative 8x plus 2 plus 8y squared over 8x. We multiply through, and we get 8x times negative 8x plus 2 plus 8y squared, divided by 2y times 8x, 
both numerator and denominator have a factor of 8x, so that cancels. We end up with 8x plus 2 plus 8y over 2y. And in fact, since all the terms have a factor of 2, we can divide that out to get negative 4x plus 1 plus 4y squared over y. Here's another example. 3 over 3a plus 4 over 3a plus 3 over 3a plus 4. Let's start by flipping and multiplying the first fraction. So we have 3 over 1 times 3a over 3a plus 4. And we're adding that to 3 over 3a plus 4. 3 times 3a gives us 9a, still divided by 3a plus 4, plus 3 over 3a plus 4. Since they both have a common denominator, we can simply add to get 9a plus 3 over 3a plus 4. Let's try another example. 1 over negative 9x plus 5 minus 1 over negative 9y plus 5 divided by 9y. We begin by simplifying the numerator. Since the two fractions don't have the same denominator, we need to create a common denominator. Multiply the first one, top and bottom, by negative 9y plus 5, and the second one by negative 9x plus 5. Now that they have the same denominator, we can add them. And we collect like terms to get negative 9y plus 9x divided by negative 9x plus 5 times ni negative 9y plus 5 over 9y. We then flip and multiply to get negative 9y plus 9x over negative 9x plus 5 times negative 9x plus 5 times 1 over 9y. Canceling out the 9, we get negative y plus x divided by y times negative 9x plus 5 times negative 9y plus 5.